Hi, I'm Jenny Spangler, and I'm one of the coaches with the Chicago Area Runners Association and the Boston Performance Training Program. The morning of Boston can be both exciting and a bit stressful at the same time. I would like to give you a few pointers that will help you get to the starting line of Boston feeling good and ready to go. One of the most interesting challenges that I find with the Boston Marathon event is the late start time. As you know, most marathons start very early in the morning, but with the Boston start, you can plan on starting at 10 a.m. or later, depending on your start corral. So your usual pre-marathon morning of nutritional needs are gonna be a lot different than for the Boston Marathon morning. You can't just get by on a piece of toast or half of a banana. So what I recommend is that you eat a substantial breakfast. Get up early, have a good breakfast. Um, I like to have a bowl of oatmeal with a banana, maybe a bagel with some peanut butter. But the key here is that whatever you choose to eat, make sure that you have practiced it before race day to make sure that it sits well in your stomach. So then after you eat this big breakfast, you can go back to your room and relax until it's time to board the bus. Now you will be boarding the bus early, so you might wanna bring a few items to snack on, like an energy bar or a piece of fruit or something. One of the great things that I think about this CARA program is that not only while you're in Boston do you have access to the CARA's reserved hotel rooms, but most important, a private coach bus with a bathroom. So with the CARA bus, you might not have as many challenges as some of the other runners um, with weather and you know, washroom facilities, but you still need to be prepared. So I would like to give you a few tips on being prepared for the start of the race. So your goal at the start is to stay as warm and dry as possible so that you don't lose energy trying to keep yourself warm. If you have some old short sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts, sweatpants, sweatshirts that you don't mind losing, you can have those on over your racing outfit and you can keep them on while you're in the starting corral and even, you know, right before the race begins. And right before the race begins, you can just toss them off and you'll have stayed nice and warm at the start of the race. Now the nice thing is, is that all of these clothes that you have thrown off, the race volunteers will come by and pick them up and donate them to charity. Number two, I find that a large black plastic garbage bag does wonders for keeping you warm and dry. Number three, if it's rainy, you might want to consider bringing an old pair of shoes along that you can use to warm up before the race. And then right before you're ready to get in your corral, put on the shoes that you're planning on wearing for the race, and don't forget a dry pair of socks. And then finally, um, the last tip I would like to give you is if you are planning on hanging out for a while in the Athlete Village, you might want to bring a plastic bag or something to sit on. It's very important to keep off of your feet as much as possible, and you definitely do not want to be sitting on a cold, damp ground before the race. Once again, my name is Jenny Spangler, and I'm one of the coaches for the CARA Boston Performance Training Program. For more information on this program and other CARA running programs, please visit our website at www.cararuns.org. Have a great run at Boston.